Hello everyone, this is Steve Marinucci with another Beatles News Brief. Today is October 29th, 2018, and let's get to the news. This morning on social media, Paul McCartney posted pictures and video of his arrival in Japan. He'll be performing four dates there on the Freshen Up Tour, starting October 31st and November 1st at the Tokyo Dome in Tokyo. And then two other dates, November 5th and November 8th. He'll move to Europe later in the year. Another recent Beatle post on social media was on the George Harrison account. Uh, They posted uh, this quote from George Harrison. It said, Bob said, let's do one like Prince. And he started banging away, love your sexy body, ooh baby. And I just turned into that tune. That would, of course, be Dirty World. And... Lately, the Beatles have also been promoting the new White Album set through various posts. On Saturday, Ringo's Twitter account posted this strange little message. How do you feel about an everybody's got something to hide except for me and my monkey Saturday? Peace and love. In more Ringo news, David Lynch will write the foreword to Ringo's new upcoming Genesis book, Another Day in the Life, which is coming in December. From the Billboard online charts dated October 27th, the holiday album chart has the Monkey's Christmas Party with the cover of Wonderful Christmas Time at number three. And we also have some additional chart information from the Billboard print issue dated October 20th. The top catalog albums imagined is number five. Top album sales Egypt Station is number 30, down from number 16 the previous week. And Imagine is number 36. Uh, And the uh, adult contemporary chart, uh, McCartney's uh, Come On To Me, is number 12, down from number 10 the previous week. And we should note that that's the sixth week that song is on the chart. Uh, It's outlasted the album. Uh, The top rock albums, John Lennon's Imagine is number 14. Claypool Lennon... Lennon Delirium has released the first track from their forthcoming album, South of Reality, on Spotify. It's called Blood and Rockets Move it w- Movement 1, Saga of Jack per- Parsons, comma, Movement 2, 2, as that's spelled T-O-O, The Moon. The album comes out February 22nd. They also have announced tickets are on sale for three upcoming tour dates at the end of December. December 28th at the Observatory North Park in San Diego. December 29th at the Observatory in Santa Ana. And New Year's Eve, December 31st at the Fillmore in San Francisco. For those of you that are interested in those, quote, rare imports, the DAP label has released a two-CD set called Last Flight UK Tour 1979. It's a Paul McCartney and Wings set that has the full show at the Apollo Center in Glasgow from December December 17, 1979, and music from the concerts of the for the people of Campuchia from December 29th, plus rehearsal versions of the single and wingspan edits of Coming Up and the three live Paul McCartney covers he performed at another live show that same year. There's also an additional DVD that finger, f- features the wings portion from the concert's from the people of Campuchia with the TV broadcast stereo version and a VH1 Plus long version and a raw footage alternate version plus material from the UK tour report in Liverpool the Buddy Holly tribute concert in two different versions and the Campuchia concert is shown as ja- on Japanese satellite TV plus Rockester from the Rockester film here's some fan convention news uh, Abbey Road on the River is having a sale for general admission tickets, buy one, get one free, and $20 off reserved seats. The sale ends October 31st. The headliners are the Calstills, the Grassroots, and the Buckinghams, and the show is May 23rd to 27th in Jeffersonville, Indiana. In a TV DVR note, the U.S. versus John Lennon is on at 7 10 and 2 a.m. Eastern Time, October 30th, on the Audience Network. Uh, That's available on DirecTV and AT&T UVerse. Check your local listings to be sure of the time. A look back in history. 
uh, happy birthday on October 29th to Denny Lane, who was born in 1944. On October 29th, 1966, Disc and Music Echo published a story with comments from celebrities such as Cliff Richard and Hank Marvin in the Shadows asking if the Beatles should retire. Brian Epstein was quoted as saying, let's face it, what is happening at the moment is that the Beatles are simmering down, making films, writing music, making records. That's their future. On October 30th, 1956, Paul McCartney's mother, Mary, passed away. On October 30th, 1960, Tony Sheridan joined the Beatles on stage at the Top Ten Club in Hamburg for a jam session that included a 70-minute What I'd Say. October 30th, 1965, Disc Weekly reported that the Beatles had received multiple honors from Disc Weekly for over 250000 in sales of Ticket to Ride and Help. On October 31st, 1964, Paul McCartney told journalist Ray Coleman, I don't believe we should push our luck too much by releasing too many records. If you put out too many, you bore people. And anyway, when we had five in the British top 20, people came up to us and accused us of flooding the market and edging everybody else out. What do we do for the best? Albums released on this date uh, on October 29th, 1990. Paul McCartney released Trip in the Live Fantastic. And on October 29, 1991, McCartney released the Russian album in the United States. That's it for today. Thanks to Fab Four Radio and Matt Burley for giving us the initial home for this show and helping uh, get it started. The show is available on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Pandora's and Stitcher. Please subscribe to the show where you get it, and if it's iTunes, we'd appreciate getting rated to get the feedback. Send your comments about the show to BeatlesNewsDesk at gmail.com or leave them on YouTube. On Facebook, there's our Beatles News and Information Group, Beatles News Briefs, the podcast page, and the That's What I Want Beatles Store. Please check those all out. Until next time, this is Steve Marinucci saying, Peace and love, peace and love.